Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ntpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy Arista's VEOS. And the VEOS is a virtual appliance which can be used to manage your distributed switches within a vSphere environment through the command line. In fact, it's nearly similar to the Cisco iOS. So Frederick Voss uh, did a real cool demo and showed me the appliance last Friday and in this movie I'm going to show you uh, the complete steps how to deploy the virtual appliance. So the first step you have to take is download the free appliance from the aristanetworks.com website and it can be downloaded using this link. It's completely free and you don't have to put in a license key or something. You can just download it from here. They offer also offer some additional white papers and a reference guide. So um, once you have downloaded the virtual appliance, it comes in a zip format and you have to unzip it. And you have to unzip it to a location where it can be used to deploy an OVF template. That's the next step. So the VEOS 1-0.OVA will be deployed to a location within your vSphere environment. So first you have to choose for the blue folders and the blue folders will put the VEOS somewhere in your inventory. Then you have to choose which cluster you are going to use and you have to choose which resource pool will be used and you have to put, a, put in a location for the virtual disk file for the virtual appliance and last but not least you have to choose the format do you want to do it thick or thin i'm going for the default and provision it on a thick basis it's only one gigabyte and then this is really important you have to configure which network is going to be used by the virtual appliance and this must be the same network which is used by your vCenter server otherwise the appliance cannot connect to the sdk of the vCenter server and once you're finished the deployment of the VEOS will start and it will take around five minutes so I'm gonna pause the recording for uh, uh, five minutes and then I will get back to you to do some additional steps and provide for instance an IP address and a username and a password for the vCenter server see you back in five so and when we are back uh, around 30 seconds to go and then the complete virtual appliance is deployed in my vSphere environment. Don't mind the yellow uh, marks right here on the virtual machines because I try to deploy uh, vShield zones appliance but something went completely wrong and uh, I'm glad I have all my virtual machines back but I still have to fix some minor issues. But uh, that has nothing to do with the VEOS. The VEOS is completed successfully. So let's power on the VEOS. It's right here. And I'm going to hop over to my VM client. It's a cool utility I've created myself. And it's able to take over the console of a virtual machine, the real console. And uh, I have to configure some additional things like the IP address and the host name and I have to put in the username and password for my vCenter server. So let's see how our newly deployed virtual appliance is booting. It's booting okay. And after the complete in initialization is done, it will show you uh, it will show you a logon and the default username is admin the, pass the password is empty, so I'm uh, logged on to the appliance right now. And if you are a, li a little bit familiar with, with the Cisco iOS, you have to enable uh, the configuration mode. And after enable, enabling the configuration mode, I have to configure my terminal. And I can uh, int the management one interface initialize and i have to put an ip address ip address 192.168.178.4 slash 24 and now i must be able to ping my vcenter server and it's located on 192.168.178.240 yes 
I can reach my vCenter server. So once you are able to reach the vCenter server, you have to write the configuration to the memory just like in a physical switch. And I'm writing the configuration to memory. Now I have to set up the connection between the appliance and my vCenter server. vSwitch session VMware VDS with a dash VDS okay the URL it's https slash slash one nine two one six eight one seven eight two forty slash SDK the username is administrator and the password is a VMware. Okay. And the data center is DC. So the data center is the same data center which is in the top of your inventory. When you are going to home, host and clusters, then you will see the data center right here. And in my case, it's called DC. And I have to put in the distributed switch I want to configure. So let's hop over to the vSphere client again and can go to home networking. Uh, my distributed switch is called DV switch with a capital S. So when I'm going back to my configuration, I have to put in uh, Yes. Let's check to be sure. DV switch. DV switch. Okay, and then I can exit the configuration mode, and I can show the V switch session. And the session is connected, so I'm successfully connected to the vCenter server. Uh, I'm going to write this configuration to memory, otherwise I have to reconfigure it after a reboot. And now I'm able to log on with PuTTY. And PuTTY can be used to connect to your VEOS uh, through SSH. Uh, I can even adjust the colors and use the system colors and I can open a session and it will ask for the first fingerprint and then I'm logging on as admin and there was no password configured and I'm able to show the interface status of my interfaces so I see all the interfaces uh, my DV uplink ports and uh, the virtual Ethernet adapters I can also show a list with virtual machines And here are my virtual machines and which interfaces use and on which ESX or host they are running. I can show a specific interface. Oh, the interface doesn't exist. Uh, 11. And I can see how many packets are going over the interface and what's the MAC address and everything. And I can show physical interfaces also. The interface does not exist. Mm, okay. But you have an idea how it works. So, so this is was a, a real cool demo of the appliance. It's free for download on Arista's website. And Eric Sloof is signing off. And we'll be back next time with another cool video. Bye bye.